Okay, Mister. Be a good boy. This is my new dog. His name is Pisgah, named after the uh, Pisgah National Forest, a place that I love dearly. I don't really know what he is. He's like a Dotson mixed with something. He's very cute, and we're outside, and he's smelling all these smells. But uh, I wanted to make a video today talking to you guys about something that I actually got requested to talk about from somebody that watched, I think it was my last video. Um, they wanted me to touch on what to do when somebody hurts you or does you wrong. And I felt like I could touch on this because I guess I've had that happen to me in the past. I'm completely over all the times that anybody has done me wrong and I kind of wanted to share how I did that and maybe help you guys through some of the hard times that you're going through. The first thing I wanna say is that if somebody has left your life, no matter how they've left it, if they did you wrong, they cheated on you, they just dumped you, they disowned you, whatever it is, if somebody has left your life, you've got to understand that that was meant to happen. Just like how I was talking about in my previous video, no matter what happens in your life, even if it's a bad thing that's happened in your life, you've got to understand that that happened for a reason and it happened for you. It didn't happen to go against you. God didn't make that happen to make you upset, to make you mad, to make you sad. It actually is for you, it's to better you. And a lot of people have a hard time understanding this because your ego kind of gets wrapped up in this, I'm in control all the time and I want my life to be this way and have this stuff and have these people in my life and have these circumstances. And when it doesn't get that, it freaks out. But you've got to understand that the ego is not you. And again, I talked about this in two videos ago about the ego, why ego death is so important, and this kind of ties into that. The reason that you're upset right now because of whatever happened isn't true to yourself. And you've got to realize that that is just the ego latching on to what it thinks it wants, what it thinks it needs, because it wants attention. And when it doesn't get that, it's going to be upset. The amazing part about life is you can step out of that and kind of have a an outside view of the situation that's going on. You don't have to be in the shell of sadness and depression and anger. You can step out of that and really see the situation for what it is. And when you do that, you can look at it and respond to it instead of react to it. A lot of people want to react when something happens in their life, when somebody does you wrong, they wanna react. Power comes from when you learn how to respond to situations instead of react to situations. If somebody has left your life, look at it from an outside perspective and understand that it is okay and that the universe or God or whatever you wanna call it did that for a reason made that person leave your life because they were unfit for where you were going. We're all on certain paths in life and some of us grow apart. Sometimes if you're growing as a person, as a human being, you're gonna grow apart from certain people. And even if you didn't choose for them to leave your life, God knows that it's time for them to leave your life. So he will make that happen. And it might be that they dump you or they leave you or they disown you or they do you wrong. But understand that that is proof that, that they're not gonna go where you're gonna go. Likely, if you're watching this video right now, then you're trying to better yourself. You're trying to be a better person. You're trying to improve your life. And that alone is going to set you apart from a lot of people around you. And when you keep following on that path to becoming a better person, 
to becoming a greater version of yourself, you're going to grow out of certain relationships. That's just how naturally it happens. We've all had that happen from when we were kids. I'm sure that there are tons of friends that you used to have in school that you don't talk to anymore. And it's because you've grown out of it. You've become a different person than the person that you were when you had that friendship. My dog is making a complete mess right now. Gosh dang it. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. Yep. It might be another bath for you, mister. But I guess what I'm trying to get at is just understand that when somebody exits your life in any way that they do, that is for a reason and it is to better you and it is a sign that you are growing as a person, that you are changing. And like I said, if you are watching this video, you're probably changing for the better. So that's the first piece of advice that I can give is just stop reacting and really look at it from an outside perspective at, at what it is. Another big thing that a lot of people want to do when somebody does them wrong is get revenge. And I know a lot of people right now know what that feels like to get revenge on somebody. It might feel good in the moment. It might feel pleasing, but you gotta understand that it's pleasing to the ego, not you. It's that part of yourself that wants to be in control and wants to be the top dog all the time. Of course, it's gonna want to wrong somebody and kind of get back at somebody that's done you wrong, but understand that whatever energy you're gonna put out into the world is what you're gonna get back. And a lot of people don't understand that, just say for like relationships and dating, the people that kind of like go relationship to relationship to relationship and they always get dumped and they always get people that are cheating on them, they always get people that are not uh, really interested in, in who they are and they just wanna hook up or whatever it is. And they wonder why can't I just get a good person that's just not a hoe, not somebody that just wants to hook up with me, not somebody that's just using me or, or cheating on me or whatever. And they wonder why all this stuff comes to them and it's because they put out the same energy. And I bet a lot of those people, when somebody does them wrong, they wanna get revenge. They want to put out the same energy, the same negative energy of doing somebody else wrong. You've got to understand you attract what you are in life. <clears throat> Not what you want, but you attract what you are. And if you are a person that wants to do somebody wrong, that wants to be mean, that wants to not have respect for people, you're going to get that same energy back in life. And so just kind of reflect on that. If somebody has done you wrong, maybe you're just not seeing it, but maybe you're kind of being the same way in a lot of different areas in your life. I think I'm really underexposed right now. Let me just, let me just try to brighten this up. So just understand that the next time that you feel the urge to give back at somebody that's done you wrong, that just thanking that and wanting to do that is just going to attract more opportunities for you to get revenge on somebody. <laughs> it's just going to bring you more reasons to get revenge on people. Which, if you don't want that, if you don't want people to wrong you so you can get revenge on them, then stop putting that energy out in the first place. And this kind of ties into, I guess, my last point, which is to just let go. Let go of every attachment that you have to somebody, to a circumstance, to a certain way of living. But just let go and understand that everything is going to be okay. That you are going to make it out of this dark place that you're in right now. You're going to find better people in your life. You're going to find I wouldn't say a replacement to that person, but you're going to find another person that fits that piece in your life. You're going to find another relationship that is even better 
than the last one. You're gonna find more friends that are better than the last. And I say better, but really what it is, is it's people that fit who you are becoming and who you are. When you become a certain person, when, you, when you're changing your life, just understand that people are gonna leave, but also people are going to come into your life. So just take this as a sign that you are on the right path. If you're watching a video like this, then you're obviously on the right path. You're trying to find clarity. You're trying to be a better person. Just get ready for what's about to come into your life because I bet you it's gonna be amazing. And there's gonna be new relationships and new people in your life that are gonna be perfect for the person that you are becoming. I think that's it for this video. I really, really hope that, you know, I said stuff that makes sense. I don't write these videos, or at least I haven't written the past three or four of them. Um, I've just kind of like came out here, sat down and started rambling. And I'm hoping that it makes sense because I'm just kind of like <laughs> talking and I don't know if it makes sense to other people, but Hopefully you got some value out of this video. I'm going to go wash my uh, my dog. I'm going to wash him. Yep, because he is a he is a dirty boy. And uh, I hope you you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and live cosmic.